What's going on everybody? It's Matthew here with Rapid Seedbox. Today we're going to do 4K Plex streaming with your Seedbox. How you can accomplish this and some of the tips and tricks we might have to make things go a little easier. As always, let's dive in. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have your Plex 4K server or Plex server available to you on the screen. You can find your link in your client area or you can go to app.plex.tv and sign in that way. Once you're in, you'll see your screen here. You can click on the settings gear to go to your settings. First thing that I'd like us to take a look at is our transcoder settings. I leave mine on automatic. You can change this to whatever your preference is. Some of you might pr prefer a higher speed encoding. And what is what that's going to do is make sure that your seed box is taking away any buffering that's happening between you and your playback device. What you might also want to do is make sure that you have the best quality possible and you're preferring that over the speed and the buffering so it's going to optimize for for quality in this one or if you really want to block out everything else going on on your seed box you can choose to make your cpu hurt and that will of course make sure that everything is transcoding as it should be for the device that is receiving the content now what we want to do is make sure that this is background a x264 transcoding we'll get into x264 and what that is in just a second um, i choose mine on ultra fast i enable hdr tone mapping another option that you could choose if you want to ensure that no matter what and you don't want to fiddle with any of these settings and you want to ensure that everything is coming to you exactly as the file has it you're not transcoding at all you're just direct playing you can choose disable video stream video stream transcoding Obviously that gives you a brief description of what that is right there as well. I choose to leave mine on just to make sure that uh, each device is able to play the content on my seed box. Please leave use hardware acceleration when available off. This is a whole nother guide and tutorial. We're not going to get into what this means right now. Um, we just, it's even, even outside of using rapid seed box, Plex hardware transcoding on Linux devices is not as optimal as you might think it is. Uh, so we'll, we just want to keep that option off. This is on by default, so just go ahead and leave that on. We're not really too worried about that. Hit your change, or hit your settings there, and we're good to go. Now let's talk a little bit about what we were saying about codecs. Codecs now are a very interesting way to compress files. So the H.264 has been the default compression method for years. A more recent method has been the H.265 and maybe you've seen some of these codecs um, in the title names for torrents or NZBs that you might grab. For H or for H.264 the file sizes are going to be considerably larger than H.265. So if you're going to do 4K it's recommended that you absolutely always and equivocally download H.265 compression methods and stick to those compression methods. H.264 will be an extremely large file, uh, much more than an H.265 file would be anyway and we recommend that you stick to file sizes around 20 gigabytes or lower. Netflix on instance trans transcodes uh, 4k at a lower bit rate and they say on their website they advertise that they have uh, that they don't go over seven gigabytes an hour that's that's fairly low and seems kind of unreasonable considering some of the file sizes that we see so I recommend if you're using radar setting the using trash guides and you setting your quality settings to something that matches that and will be able to play on your seed box much much better Guys, if you have any more questions about how to stream high quality 4K content from your seed box, as always, you can always reach out to a customer service agent below using our chat box or continue looking at our help desk. We have plenty of information that will help you along your way. If you like our YouTube videos, like and subscribe. And of course, have a nice day.